of an animal lover, are you? Enough to open up your home to nearly two dozen abused animals? Well, that's exactly what one Valley homeowner agreed to do. ABC 15's Mary Ellen Resendez tells us these are not small pets. We have a situation where the rescue needs to be rescued. <laughs> Joey Ogburn founded Love Shack Horse Rescue, where she and other volunteers care for abused horses, many with stories like Jersey Girls. Her and her mother were dumped in the desert when she was only a week old. <laughs> but four days ago, Ogburn found out she needed to rescue herself. The Love Shack sits on land zoned for residential homes, so the county gave her notice. Move out or be fined $10,000 a day. It was an absolute shock that we had to move in such a short notice, as well as, um, you know, finding another facility for 23 horses, four goats, a sheep, and some chickens. Ogburn was desperate and unable to sleep. Who would take in 23 horses? Meet Amy Roseman and her father, Kurt. It was kind of a last minute thing, but we both decided, you know, together that. If we could do it, that we would, you know, love to help out. So just as Ogborn thought her horses would go to slaughter, the Rosemans offered to donate land from their Rockaway horse ranch to keep the love shack grooving. This was our pasture where we were keeping our uh, our mares that uh, were pregnant. And so the move began. Volunteers loaded animals, gear, and troughs, then unloaded it at their new home. It truly is a miracle. <laughs> Because we couldn't afford um, to board all of these horses out. In Cave Creek, Mary Ellen Resendez. The deeds never hurt anybody. ABC 15 News.